Dr. Mute. Hello? OK. Thank you for coming. OK, I'll give a talk about this. OK, bare metal provisioning in data center including network switches. OK, uh, this is a, a joint project. I mean, this work is jo joined by NCAC and uh, IK, uh, Northwestern University in US. Uh, OK. Uh, at the, almost the same time, we also present the result in the Open Compute Project Summit. OK. So that, that's the basic idea for the system developing and provisioning. So normally, you, you need a tool or two for, to use for the, um, like a, this a single machine backup and restore. Or you may need to deploy uh, to copy, to clone many USB flash drive, just like a one machine and many uh, disks. Or in a machine room, you, need, you have a cluster, and you want to deploy uh, an image temperate machine, uh, from an image from the temperate machine and to many computers. That, that's the scenario, one of the scenarios, or in a computer classroom. So you, you, you need this kind of tool, and Chrome is one of the, this kind of solution, help you to do something like this. Uh, so uh, it, it's for the Linux, Mac OS, Windows, BSD, FreeBSD, something like this. So that's the best background for, for the Kronina. Uh, yeah, you, ha you can see many users and uh, from 2004 until 2018, eight, 18, yes, uh, it's about 19 million downloads. But until uh, recently, actually, still in the machine room, if you want to do a system deployment or provisioning, for a server node, computing node, and a storage node, it's OK. Because it's, uh, you know, we, currently it's based on the uh, Linux system, and the uh, Linux system is works on this kind of ROM. But for the switch, it's always an um, issue. Because uh, uh, later we will have more about the switch. But as you know, that the switch uh, is uh, not in, in the past. Before, it's only the proprietary solution and one vendor they have a hardware they have the uh, network operating system and then they have their own application so it's not an open uh, technology and people cannot you know have your own solution you want to tune or do something uh, the, the the idea the idea came from the uh, IKEA they, they because they are a uh, network center then they need to some to do some of the test especially a uh, whole rack in the whole rack. And uh, they can deploy this kind of uh, node. But, but because it's, an, as I mentioned, it's a um, network center. So they also have to do some experience about the network switch. And uh, that's, sometimes that's a headache. They have to you know, put different uh, network switch, and they have to buy more for some, because they just want to tune something or some uh, different network operating system, something like that. So uh, until the only, only network switch is available, before it's impossible to do this kind of uh, provisioning. But I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, anyone here uh, has uh, anyone has uh, only switch or familiar with only switch? If so, yeah. So you must be uh, familiar, you yeah, system administrator for something like that. Yeah, so uh, the only switch actually, as I mentioned, before it was a, a legacy mode, one vendor, they have their own uh, applications, network operating system, and their own hardware. So you cannot do, to, you cannot like a, a computer, PC, you can have your own uh, network operating, your own, operating system, and then you can install your own package, you can tune the system. It's not easy to do these kind of things in the past. Uh, with only, it's open networking, so the hardware may be a fender C, and uh, the network operating system may be from a fender B, and the uh, application may be from fender A. So it's because it's open, so you can uh, do many things. Uh, Oni is actually uh, created by the Cumulus Network in 2012. And later, uh, it, wa it was adopted by the Open Compute Project in 2013. And Open 
Compute project they are uh, it's uh, funded by I think it's funded by Facebook because they have uh, a lot of data center they need to run you know the service and uh, with the open compute project a lot of vendor they join and they provide this kind of open hardware open solution so it's it's much easier for for um, just like a PC everyone can join and like IBM PC something like this so it's a bare, it's a bare metal white bus solution. And um, of course, like uh, open source, open network, open hardware. So it's much easier now. If you want to, just like uh, we, the, the, the machine, the operating system we are familiar with, we can install our own operating system in this kind of only switch. And uh, let me show you that. Uh, but actually, it's not, not cheap. This kind of switch, because it's used in the all um, machine room, data center. So, uh, on Amazon, you can see that uh, if you search uh, only switch, and you can find that like uh, this, this kind of edge core, it's about 48, I think, 48 port, and uh, 10 gigabit. Uh, the price is about four 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 thousand US dollars. And like this, this kind of uh, is like uh, maybe this one, 40 gigabit Ethernet. It's about uh, 10,000 US dollars. So that's expensive tool actually. <laughs> okay, let me back to my slides. So uh, because it's open, so there are many uh, network nodes available. So like this, uh, th th there are some of these. Uh, some are some provide the support. So some are really expensive, but some are open source, and uh, they are uh, free available. You and you can own, you can have your own solution, like this. Here, many uh, they provide support. It's all based on different kind of uh, operations, and like this one is. For Debian, from Debian, and this one from Dell, from BSD, something like this, and they because it's just like a, a, a that only switch is just like a, a PC, uh, so they and, and Linux can run on this kind of machine. So you can you can see that most of the architecture they are support like S86 Power PC ARM architecture, and uh, let, let's talk about more about the inside of the only in in the it's like a PC, but it actually it's not really the putting uh, sequence is not like not it's not like uh, the PC we have. So in the beginning, of course, it still have bootloader. So this this part is, is the same. But the, the second part there is the only in interface. So the first time, if there is no there is no a uh, noise. Inside the own, inside the only switch, it it will try to find the uh, installer, uh, maybe from the flash drive, maybe from the FTP server, HTTP server, then it will get the, the installer, then start install the network operating system in the only switch. That's the first time, and when they, the the only switch, the network. Operating system is installed the, in the only switch, then it will bypass the only, then directly put into the, the network operating system. Now, that's the basic put sequence. And the uh, network analysis interface actually provide analysis actually provide this kind of interface. For example, it provides a reinstalling, it provides an uninstalling, and it provides a rescue or up upgrading mode. So uh, when you want to reinstall the NOS, you can use the existing NOS, but choose to reinstall the operating system. Okay, and special, especially here, there's a rescue mode. You can enter the rescue mode and to tune or to modify the system if you want. Now that's the basic idea. And uh, with this one, rescue mode, actually that, that's later we will show how to use Cronia to to enter the risk, uh, to enter the rescue mode and switch to Cronia Live, then you can deploy or back up your only switch. That's the basic idea. So that here. 
remember the, the, the booting sequence, right? For the first time, uh, the bootloader will enter only. But if there's a noise, then you have to switch to uh, rescue mode. However, uh, the, because it's not like a, the, the installer for the only is not like a, a regular uh, ISO file or, or something like uh, you used to install the uh, Debian or, or Ubuntu. So you, it's a, there's a, a special mode, special format for only uh, the, for the installer on, only installer. So here we have to convert Colonia Live ISO to the file. And the file actually is a, a self-extracting put, putting file for Oni. Uh, we have a command, and we can you can con convert the Columbia ISO to this kind of uh, it, file. Then, with this sequence, you can assign the Oni switch to put from this image, then switch to Columbia Live. So that's the basic idea. And then after that, it's just like a normal PC you can back up, reinstall. So, so uh, let's some of screenshots. This one is a Dell uh, S4048 on only switch. Uh, that's some of the screenshot, but it's a little bit small. I, I explained to you that this, this is uh, like a graph, and you can see later. I, have, I will do some of the live demo, and you can see some of the put, put a loader, the put menu, and this, this is the one I mentioned in the NOS interface. It provides a rescue mode and reinstalling, something like that. And this is about uh, the command line you enter in the uh, rescue mode, and you, you can switch to Chromia Live. Okay, so that, that's the background and the, about the screenshot. So here, I will do a, a demonstration about this. So uh, let me explain. The first, uh, uh, because uh, as I mentioned, we need to download Colonial Live, then convert, convert to the uh, self self extracting putting file. Okay, so that's the one. But here, because I, I didn't bring the, the heavy the heavy no need switch. That that one really heavy. I think it's about ten or, or fifteen kilograms. Now that's really heavy. So actually, I will use the uh, virtual bus virtual machine to simulate this kind of only uh, switch. And uh, in, in the uh, only project, uh, GitHub, uh, GitHub you, can down, you can clone uh, the only project, then you can create the, the ISO file for, for the virtual machine. Then you can enter the uh, only rescue mode. OK, that, that's the, the, the basic step. It's very uh, normal. Just git clone and uh, install the, uh, in, in Debian, you can just install the essential packages, then you, you could make this rescue ISO. Then you, the file will be ready. So I, I will prepare, I, I, I have prepared this ISO file. Then, and uh, because uh, for the only switch, it, uh, I mentioned it's like a PC, but actually it's a headless. It's, there's no VGA port for switch. Normally, it's only you know serial console, serial port. So it's the same. This the, the one you the ISO file you create. Actually, there's no VGA driver inside, and uh, still you have to use the serial console to connect to the virtual machine. So that, that's the basic idea. So later I will, this uh, preparation I, have, I, I will do, and uh, we can en enter the SQ mode for only then switch to Chromia, uh, then do the backup or restore. OK, here I will do a demonstration. OK, this is uh, a virtual box I have. And, uh, as you can see that uh, here, that's about the uh, the one I mentioned is a uh, only re recovery or rescue ISO file. That's uh, uh, I mentioned we we have uh, made okay because it, it, it's uh, I think it's take uh, maybe 20, 20 minutes to to create this ISO file. So I won't do this here. I I, I have prepared that. So uh, if I 
right now I put into the virtual machine, it's like a, the only switch, and you can see that it's, it's something like this. But as you can see, you see just grab and then nothing, nothing happened because it's entered the head list. You have to use the serial console to connect. So here I prepare some of the command. Uh, okay, let, let me turn this off first. Then we can, okay, do it again. I, I explain the command. The first, uh, oh, going on the battery. Anyway, the first one is uh, we convert the Cronida ISO file. First, you have to download the Cronida ISO file from our website. I will just show you because it's, it's take a few minutes to download, so I won't uh, spend too much time on this. Hold on. And the networking. What's wrong? Uh, anyway. Mm. Anyway, you can download uh, the Cronia ISO from the Cronia.org. Uh, once, once it's ready, uh, for the Cronia project, uh, you have to install uh, the Cronia, uh, file, uh, Cronia package. Then there's a command in, inside Cronia package. It's called the OCS ISO to ONI. So with this command, it will convert the ISO to the self extracting putting file. Uh, let me do this. Okay. Here I have downloaded one file, but actually I link to yeah another place, but it's fine. You you can see that. Okay, so let me uh, convert the ISO file to yeah. It will take uh, one to two minutes to convert to this ISO file because uh, it will extract the ISO file and uh, repackaging to the self extract team put in file. Actually, it's uh, inside everything into the initial RAM, RAM file. So here, yeah, it's take a, the total file size maybe 280 megabytes. So another maybe 20 seconds. No, yeah, 20 seconds, so roughly. And, and you will see it will convert the bin file, and later we can put into the HTTP server. Uh, for, for my laptop, I, I run the HTTP server, so the file will be put on the HTTP server, and then the, the only switch can connect to the, the HTTP server and get the uh, installer file. Oh, yeah, so, so it's done. And you can see that there's, there's a self extracting boot file ready. That's here. Okay, so we can co copy this file to the Apache document root. Okay, so We have the file here, and I make it shorter. That will be easier to type. Okay, so once it's done, then we can back to the only switch. First, I use the serial console command to connect to the only switch. But because it's not on, so right now it's still it's the file is not the not exist. So okay. Here. All right. It's, let me do this again because uh, you didn't see the, the boot menu. Here, you can see that's the only boot menu. First, uh, it's, and because the, the, the ISO file we have created is especially for recovery for the rescue mode. So, by default, the boot menu is in the only rescue. So. Here, we enter the rescue mode for the only switch. Okay, it will, yeah, so it, 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 because it's quite small, 
So right now we are in the only re recovery mode. And uh, with this, actually you can see this IP address here. Okay? And uh, you can see actually because it's in the virtual bus. So by default, the gateway for my machine is this private IP address. Then right now we can uh, use this command. Only a noise install. As I mentioned, this file is for uh, install, install the file. So you can use this command to convert to Colonial Live. OK. So here you can see it's connect to the HTTP server, then get the, the only self-extracting port file. Then it will check, uh, do the checksum check-in. OK. Then enter switch, use KXE to switch to that distribution. Then right now it's enter the, the normal colonial live mode. Uh, just curious, anyone use colonial live here before? Okay. Okay, so later you will see the familiar the interface. So first uh, you choose the the keyboard layout and uh, you can choose to start Chromia Live. And for, for example, I, I will just do some of the menu, uh, just show some of the menu, but I will not, because it will take a few minutes to do that. So here you, we can choose to save the image, and uh, we can choose to, uh, the lo uh, I can choose to save in the SH server, something like this, and get the IP address. The SH server is like this, and the port. Okay, so I can use this. Okay, so that, that's the, the image repository I have pre pre prepared. It's on the SH server. SH, SH server. Then, then you can start to save the the whole only switch. So I, I won't do that anymore because it will take um, maybe five minutes or ten minutes, and. Yeah, you will compress the whole system to the SH server. And you can prepare different kind of uh, an OS, and you can take a, as an image on a, uh, your image repository. When you want to switch to different kind of an OS, you, with this, this kind of method, you can switch. You will only switch to different uh, an OS and a different uh, configuration. So that's the end of my talk and the demonstration, and uh, I will show you some of the, yeah. I, I will put this slides on Colonial website, so you can get it with you, but some of the, yeah, the URL, or you can just Google find, it's all open document, so it's not difficult to find any kind of uh, document, reference. Okay, any questions? Mm, great. <laughs> Easy to understand, right? Okay. Actually, how many of you have used network switches in the lab? I guess many of you, right? Okay, I have. And um, I've got a say there's two of us here. And I can say that all of them have been running on closed source software. So actually using open source uh, software that you can access and control, it's a big game changer. And of course, you can uh, patch your uh, security issues or run daemons or whatever, and it, it, it's then not just a black box you can't control. Yeah. Yeah. So I think right. it's a game changer, really, yeah. this uh, only distribution. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, let's um, thank Stephen for his okay. talk. Okay. Thank you.